Welcome to Funny Phone, a Cassette College production. It's a series of zany comic messages designed to amuse your friends and make sure you hear all your calls. The way Funny Phone works is this. Using any standard cassette player, listen to the message and select one. Notice three seconds before each message, you will hear a cueing tone. Find a quiet place and play the message you like into your answering machine after you hear the cueing tone. For best results, set your cassette player's volume at a medium setting and hold the speaker three to four inches from your answering machine's microphone. If you want to, you can personalize your message by inserting your name before or after the message. And now, let's listen to Funny Phone. Hi, boys and girls. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, but we're not home right now. We're visiting Bob Dog and Henrietta Kitty Cat in the neighborhood of Make Believe. So when you hear Mr. Beep, leave a friendly message with Mr. Answering Machine. And remember, I like you just the way you are. Hi. Sorry I'm not here to take your call. What a week. First dinner with Charles and Di. Then over to Sweden to pick up my Nobel Prize. Then that White House conference. Now the Carson Show. Oh, who am I kidding? To tell you the truth, I'm washing the car. Leave your message after the beep and I'll call you back soon. Hi, this is the machine again. I bet you never stop to think what a thankless job this is, taking other people's messages day in, day out. And does anyone ever ask me what's new? Does anyone care about my feelings? No. So show a little consideration, okay? And if you happen to know some nice, unattached girl machine, maybe you could leave me her number after the beep. Hi. Uh, sorry I can't answer the phone right now. If you're calling about the money I owe you, the check's in the mail. If you're calling about that favor I promised you, I've gone to South America. If you're the guy whose Maserati I backed into last week, I died three days ago. Everyone else, please leave your name and number, especially if you owe me money. Hi, I'm Larry, and this is my brother Daryl, and this is my other brother Daryl. We are not here, but luckily Daryl had the foresight to purchase this recording device. We think we know how it works. If you hear a tone, leave your name, number, and a brief message. If you do not hear a tone, it means Daryl has made an unwise purchase. fellow Americans. 
This is your ex-president. I would like to make one thing perfectly clear. I'm not a crook. I would like to make another thing perfectly clear. Your message is being taped. But don't worry. Considering the office help we have around here, it'll probably get erased. So you won't have me to kick around anymore. Shazam, Sergeant! There ain't nobody home! Go on, Lee! I better sing you a song! There's nobody home, nobody home Please leave a message at the sound of the tone When it beeps, when it beeps Beep, 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 beep Hello, this is the party with whom you are speaking, Rusty Robot. The nice people that live here are experiencing extraterrestrial visitation and their test pattern has momentarily locked. At the tone, please leave your identification code, name, and communication instrument, individualized security number, and these way out humanoids will reach out and touch you when they return. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. We can't come to the phone right now, so leave your name and number and what you want old Santa to bring you for Christmas. There really is a Santa Claus, you know. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, leave your MasterCard number, too. Oh, <laughs> Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, well, uh, never mind. Uh, they ain't here now. Hey, Pete, don't forget to take the VCR. Uh, so, uh, what you gotta do, see, is leave your name and number after the beep. Yeah, you got all the jewelry? Well, don't go leaving no fingerprints. Uh, yeah, so, uh, when they gets back, uh, they'll, uh, get back with you. Uh-oh, gotta go now. Greetings. This is Soviet Premier Gorbachev. The party you are calling cannot come to the telephone now, yet. We are having a summit meeting, a very long summit meeting. So, leave your name, number, and message when you hear tone. But watch what you say, comrade. Even the walls have ears. <laughs> Password today is answering machine. Absent. Excuse. Out. In. Phone. Thomas Edison. Beep. Bubaluba. Message. Aha. Uh -huh. Answering machine. <laughs> Hiya, 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 you're rocking around the clock with Symphony Sid. I'm away from the phone right now. Hey, did you just bump your phone and make my record skip? If so, leave your name and number at the tone, and I'll get right back. Hey, Fern. Fern, wake up. It's me, your old buddy answering machine. Fern? Well, you done gone to Betty by. Or maybe you ain't here. Gotta get these contacts fixed. 
Only take the name and number of her. Huh? Huh? Might be the milk nose people. Know what I mean? In our last episode, Wally Coyote bought an atom bomb kit from the Atomic Bomb Kit Company. He missed the Roadrunner, but he did blow up what used to be the Western United States and himself. We're putting him back together now. As soon as we find his mouth, we'll have him call you back. Leave your name and number at the beep. If you hear two beeps, don't tell Wiley he's had a rough day. How do you know, Scarlet? That ring of Noah's, it sounds so close. That's the phone, Scarlet. I hate to tell you this, but you're not a wife, Scarlet. You're just a voice on an answering machine. Oh, Red! And all it takes to please you is a mere number and name left at a simple tone. Oh, Red, don't say that! Frankly, my dear, I just did. Hello, I can't answer the phone right now, so leave your name, number, and a short message at the tone. I've gone fox hunting. We told everyone to bring male dogs, but one fella didn't get the message, and he brought his female hound. Well, they took off, and soon they was out of sight. We stopped and asked a fella if he saw the hounds, and he said he did, but it was the first time he'd ever seen a fox running fifth. <laughs> Hi, darling. How are you doing? You have been feeling okay? Taking your vitamins? Drinking your milk? You know how much I worry when I don't hear from you. But who am I, right? Just the person who cares about you the most in the world. Don't keep breaking my heart like this, sweetheart. Leave a message when you hear the tone. Folks, this here is the top turkey talking to you. The folks who live here aren't home. They had to go out for a Thanksgiving dinner this year. You see, I outsmarted them. Every time they tried to shove me in the oven, I just blew out the pilot light. And they've got the nerve to call me turkey. Hello, nice people. We're not at home, so rap with the beat and wait for the tone. Leave your name, a message, and a number of your phone, and we'll call you back when we get home. Get ready. Now, here comes the beat. Don't get bored or we'll fall asleep. Get down with some thoughts that you got on tap. Now it's time for you to rap. Hello, welcome to As the Soap Turns. In today's episode, Mark tells Ginger about Sam, and Ginger tells Sam it's all over. Jason tries to contact Brad, but Brad's trying to rescue Monica. 
He's been kidnapped by Chip, who thinks Monica knows all about Joan. And you thought you had problems. Well, just leave your name and number, and we'll straighten it out somehow. Hello? Hello? Please speak up. Wait a minute. You're yelling in my answering machine. You know what happens to people that yell at machines. Leave your name and number at the tone, and I'll yell at you when we return. was the night before Christmas, and no one was home but this message machine to answer the phone. Leave name and number and message with me. When people come home, they'll get it, you'll see. But there's one thing I know they want you to hear. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. We can't come to the phone, so leave your name and number and a message at the tone. Mom, I want an ice cream. What else do we say now? Hello. We're not at home at the moment, so please leave your name and number at the tone. I just called my mother and told her I was going to teach my man a lesson and come live with her. She told me that if I really wanted to teach him a lesson, she'd come live with us. Hello. Tarzan and Jane not home right now. Leave name and message. I get back. I hunt for food, bring back bird and two monkeys. Jane says, oh no, not finch and chimps again. Hi, today is my birthday, and I feel exactly like a bottle of rare wine. Old and dusty. But I guess it's better to be over the hill than under it. <laughs> you know, you'll always stay young if you keep fit. Think good thoughts, do everything in moderation, and lie about your age. Chief and squad not around teepee, so leave smoke signals at home. Me take El Dorado to hunt food at Kroger. Squaw set up campfire microwave while Papoose watch Pale Face on VCR and Wigwam on satellite dish. Tonight, big powwow. Tonto gonna tell Lone Ranger what Kimo Sabe really means. Hello, we're not at home right now, so please leave your name and number in any short message and one of us will call you back. We are home. Oh, no, we're not. Well, where are we? I don't know. It could be a lot of places. Let me get this straight. We're not at home, we've gone someplace, and we don't know where? That's right. Help, we're lost! <laughs> Good day. This is Percy Blush Skylark, celebrated poet and raving genius. I've been commissioned to recite for you the following original rhyme. 
forth with my masterpiece. <clears throat> alas and alack, we are not home to chat upon the telephone, but leave your message at the tone, and we'll get back with you anon. <clears throat> Thank you. And ta-ta. Hi, I'm not here, but you're going to love my new state-of-the-art answering device. It automatically converts even the stupidest conversations into brilliant dialogue. Want to hear? Okay, I'll just set it on Shakespeare. Now listen. Oh, speak again, bright angel, for thou art as glorious as this night, being o'er my head. Pretty neat, huh? Okay, now you try it. Here's the beep. Good grief, Charlie Brown. Is that you again? Didn't I tell you not to call me when I'm practicing Beethoven? Can't you understand that we creative types need peace and quiet? <sighs> Of course not. You're just a dumb little kid. We'll leave your message, and then why don't you go fly a kite? Hello, and welcome to Wheel of Phone Fun, the game show where you can win fabulous prizes by answering three simple questions. Your name, your number, and the time of your call. If you get these right, you could qualify for three days and six fabulous nights at the beautiful downtown Beirut Hilton. Now wait for the tone, and don't forget to duck... in the front yard. The cat's gone up to get them down. Leave your name and number at the tone, and they will call you back. But remember, you have to be a nut to talk to a nut. <laughs> Hello. Mom and Dad can't come to the phone right now, so please leave your name and number at the tone. The last time they had an understanding like this. Dad didn't see Mom for three days. And then he could see her a little bit out of his left eye. Hello. I'm not at home right now, so leave your name and number at the... Wait, hold on a second. Hold on. Here, here I come now. Uh, oh, shoot. Nope, it wasn't me. Hey, I'll, I'll call you when I get in, okay? Stardate 2, 1029. Mr. Spock, Dr. McCoy, and I have been to the surface of a planet not unlike Earth. So remarkably similar, in fact, 
that McCoy has found the traces of what appears to be a fast food restaurant from the late 20th century. Leave a recorded message on the ship's communications device. I will contact you upon re-entry. Bones. Those arches. It could be a trap. Tone, okay? Good night, Miss Calabash, wherever you are.